And once again, we are pleased to be joined in studio by our PGA teaching professional, Virgil Herring. You see his great golf tips every week on Sunday Sports Central. What a wild third round. What a wild open championship tournament. Rain, wind, final round coming up tomorrow. And as many as 20 guys could be holding the Claret Jug this time tomorrow. Well, with the weather the way it's going to be, it could be even deeper than that, depending on when the, when the high winds come in. If it blows really hard late, somebody who tees off early, much like it happened in 1999, somebody com could come from way behind the wind. So the, the storylines are abundant for tomorrow, that's for sure. And one of the biggest storylines has to be Paul Dunn, an Irish an amateur who played his college golf at Alabama Birmingham, coming out of nowhere to be tied for the lead going into the final round, shot a brilliant round today. He's 12 under. Where'd he come from? Well, he's from Ireland, and he obviously <laughs> plays golf at UAB. He's the first amateur to be leading the Open Championship since Bobby Jones, 1925. So that's a long time ago. I do believe he's going to be in for a, a rough day tomorrow, but an unbelievable experience for him nevertheless. And he played brilliantly today. The hole must have looked like it was that big to him because he made 1,000 miles of putt. So congratulations to him. That's an exciting storyline for sure. Jordan Spieth came into the third round at five under and just turned it on. Those three straight birdies really got him going. Now he's at 11 under par. He's in the hunt to win his third straight major. That's the storyline of all the storylines. I mean, if, if he wins this major, it'll be the first time since Ben Hogan that anybody's won the first three majors of any in any season. And he'll be the only person to ever have a chance to win the fourth because that year, Ben Hogan, at that time, you only took a boat to England and back. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have a chance to win the PGA Championship. So this will be the first time. It's unprecedented. If he does win, I believe that he's going to be a tough out, but I don't expect him to win. Dustin Johnson was the third-round leader coming in at 10 under par. We've seen this movie before in majors from him. What seems to be his issues in these majors uh, where he can't finish the deal? Well, much like the U.S. Open and today, the putter let him down dramatically. He didn't hit the ball that badly today. But one missed putt after another missed putt, it's got to start to get into his mind because he's been so erratic with the putter when he needed it the most, and it's been that way since 2010, really. The putter evades him. He doesn't lose his ball striking. He just doesn't make any putts. And, of course, the 800-pound gorilla in the room, Tiger Woods, again, missing the cut. He's almost plus 60 yeah. in his last handful of majors. Point blank question, is he done? Well, I, mean, I would imagine the only thing that he has left to look forward to is a massive game plan change to, get, to resurrect himself. I don't think that his body is going to ever bring him back to where we were in 2000 or even 2008. Mm -hmm. I'm more inclined to say that he never wins another major than he wins another major, but he's 39. He just, I don't know if he's got the right game plan set aside for him to best improve himself. And he is, looks so lost and like a shell of himself. I've never seen him so slumped over and so beaten. Mm -hmm. Golf has beaten him pretty bad right now, and the golf gods don't seem to have much mercy. Well, the golf gods will be shining on one player tomorrow. Break it all down for me. What do you expect to see in the final round? And when it's all said and done, all the smoke clears, who wins the Claret Jug? Well, here's how I see it. I think Jordan Spieth is going to put a lot of pressure on him uh, because of how great he's been playing, and it's his year. But there are a couple names that strike me that are going to be hard outs. I think Adam Scott is going to be a hard out. He is going to play very well tomorrow. The wind will not affect him. He's a great ball striker. The people who hit the ball the best are going to be the ones who stand out. Sergio Garcia is another name that I'm looking for as a person who can win his first major championship because the conditions suit his game. I've been saying since my radio show two weeks ago that Justin Rose is my pick. I'm not backing off that pick, but I won't be surprised if he doesn't win, hint, hint. I think it's Jason Day's <laughs> turn. I think Jason Day brings it home if Justin Rose doesn't. Either way, it's going to be an exciting finish, Absolutely. the final round of the Open coming up on Monday. Always great to have you in studio, Virgil. And you're going to be back with another great golf tip for us. Look forward to that. Stay tuned.